night, <clears throat> excuse me, today I wanted to, I was going to do my makeup and then I thought, well, I already got my Kat Von D Locket foundation in the mail, so why not do a first impression? This is what it looks like. I got it in the shade 46 light and I'm hoping that it's the right shade. I did a lot of research trying to make sure that I could get the right shade, but we'll never really know till we put it on. And I, I got it in a kit that they had on, going on at Sephora. They might still have it going on right now. It came with the foundation, a black beauty blender, which I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna use everything that came in this kit to be able to give it an honest you know, thought and review. It came with a sample of her lightweight, or her locket featherweight primer. So I'm gonna use that. And then it also came with a sample of the Liquid Beauty Blender Cleanser. So, which is what you use to clean this. So let's go ahead and read what it claims it does on Sephora. It says it's a high pigment foundation for full coverage that leaves a long lasting beauty finish. Beautiful finish. Um, Kat Von D created this foundation to provide exceptional coverage without compromising a smooth striking finish. Formulated with 21% pigment, this powerful formula was developed with proprietary pigments to match ooh, sorry. <laughs> to match a broad range of skin tones with bold, full coverage. The combination of raw materials and the best siliconic, yeah, siliconic elastomers and siliconic esters provide 24-hour wear with transfer resistance which is, would be nice. If it actually is transfer resistant, I would be ecstatic because a lot, well, all of my foundations transfer. Um, natural polymers absorb oil for a matte soft finish and the added um, emollients provide a velvety texture for perfectly smooth hydrated skin. It does not have paraben, uh, parabens and it does not have synthetic fragrance. So I'm going to add her featherweight primer I'm not sure how this will do with pores. I do have large pores, but I just want to solely use the products that it came with, that it says it works well with, so I can review it based on that. And I'm gonna let that, that sit for a minute, and then I'll go ahead and start applying the foundation. Here's the thing, it still feels really tacky and kind of greasy. So what I'm gonna do is I just, I took a tissue, I'm just going to blot. Maybe I just applied too much. It felt really greasy. It's still tacky, but we're gonna go with it. I've heard, okay, from what I've seen, a little goes a long way. So I just took two pumps, and you can see it's a thick um, consistency. It's moving very slowly. It's not runny. So you know this is gonna be a full coverage foundation. I'm gonna take the Beauty Blender. I'm nervous. <laughs> Because <laughs> I've seen some, you know, things go wrong because they took too much. And work it in. And again, I'll start with half of my face so we can compare and see the coverage it gives. Oh, okay, so I found out that we get a Sephora. We are getting one in our mall, April 29th, so I will no longer have to guesstimate my foundation shades. I can go in and get the right shade. This seems to be perfect, but on the verge of too light. First, right off the bat, I am very impressed with the fact that seeing how thick it looks on my hand, it feels like nothing on my face. Like. I'm wondering if I'm if I even have product on like I just recently reviewed the Too Faced sorry my nose is so itchy today I just recently reviewed the Too Faced Born This Way and that is so lightweight too but it's more lightweight than that one and that's impressive one layer on half my face see the texture just beware that if you have dry skin to use a good moisturizer and really let it soak and set into the skin before you start applying your foundation. So I'm gonna go in with a light second layer just to see 
how buildable it is, if it gets cakey, if it just feels awful, and if it covers well. I'm impressed. I mean, it doesn't, of course it's not set right now, so I'm not gonna, and it is transferring. I'm gonna let that set, come back, and let you know if it is in fact transfer resistant. I'll touch it and see. I'm gonna let it set for five minutes, and I'll come back. We'll see if it's matte. Here is the difference. Clean hand. It does transfer. Um, but it hasn't been set with powder, so maybe that'll help make a difference. Let me zoom you back out and let's put it on the rest of the face. I, I do, I really like the coverage of this. It does feel dry now that I've set it with powder and I feel like it emphasizes some lines under my eyes um, that I don't usually get with any other foundation. Like when I smile, I feel like I look really old and it doesn't look cakey right now, but just my normal facial expressions I feel are very exaggerated with the lines that it makes. And um, some of the pores are a little more exaggerated around here, so I would just use um, a, like the Benefit Professional and just dab it on where you have larger pores, and I think that would eliminate the problem fine. But um, for right now, I mean, I really love the coverage. It is very full coverage. This is something that I enjoy because I do have so much hyperpigmentation and scarring. I do have oily skin, so I'm very curious to see how this holds up throughout the day, how many times I have to blot and powder, and if by the end of the day it is still wearing nicely. I do find that most foundations tend to break up around my chin and nose by the afternoon. So we'll see how this holds up and I am off to film a makeup tutorial so keep your eye out. Hi guys, thanks for watching and if you have any other um, makeup products that you're curious about, let me know in the comments below and I will try and do a review for you. So until next time, bye guys!